Hey guys, today we're going to make a toy for your small animal. And so, um, for your small animal, such as a gerbil or a hamster, even a guinea pig or a rabbit. So first what you're going to need is, you're going to need some Q-tips, some Q-tips, cotton swabs, whatever you call them, these. Um, you're going to need some toilet paper, some toilet paper. You're going to need, you might need some glue, non-toxic glue, has to be non-toxic, and twine. Some twine or sisal rope or something. Um, so, first what you're going to do is, you're going to take your Q-tips, and you're going to take about five of them. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to take them like this. And you're going to take, sorry, my dog's barking. And you're also going to need scissors, sorry guys. You're going to cut your twine about this long, about half a foot long, something like that. There's no perfect measurements or anything. And you're going to take it and you're going to tie it around it. You're going to want the ends to be about even. You might want to tie it twice to make sure it stays really well. So you want the ends about even, not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to tie it again. Sorry, my dog barked. Like that. And then you're going to tie it again one more time. And you're going to take it, take your toilet paper, and you're going to wrap it in some of your toilet paper. Take it, and I'll move this so I can show you guys better. And take it, set it in the middle, in the middle, and wrap it up. And fold, put it in the middle, then fold it in half, and then wrap it up roll it up as, as tight as you can. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take, you might not need the glue if you're using this. If, you're, if you would rather the glue then you can use glue for this but I'm going to use the twine because that way y'all don't have to wait for my glue to dry which would take forever. So you're going to tie it like that and so this is going to be like a little hanging toy. You're also going to want some of your gerbil enhancers, food or treats, or whatever small animal you have. You need to take some larger pieces, like this, some sunflower seeds or something, or some little treats. Some food packages have like little balls like mine does that you could use. You're going to take it, you're going to take just like two squares of your toilet paper. I'm going to set it in the middle, set like three little pieces in the middle. They don't ha all have to be the same. I'm using two sunflower seeds and one of those little balls. And then you're going to fold it in half and roll it up like so. And then you're going to fold it. So once it looks like this, you're going to fold it in half again and take this and tie around. So this is gonna be a cute little hanging toy with plenty of things on it. Just a minute. And you want to make sure it's cut a pretty long because you're going to need to weave it at one point. You're going to weave it a little bit. So now it looks like that. You've got these two little toys on here. You might want to knot it again to make sure it stays really well. So you're probably not going to need the glue unless you want to use it to like close something up. So that's optional. All right. So now it looks like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take some paper or anything. Just rip a little piece of paper off or whatever. And now you're just going to like rumble it into a little ball. As tight as you can. Then you're going to uncrumble it. It's fine if you rip it. It's fine if you rip it when you're uncrumbling it. And then you're going to roll it up really tight, really tight, like this. 
And I'm going to roll it like this and roll it really tight in the middle so it looks like this. Almost like a bowl. A bow, sorry. Then you're going to take a teeny piece of this. Teeny piece just big enough so you can tie it around the center. If you cut it too short, that's fine. You can just cut another piece that's longer. You're going to tie it around like that. So now you have something that looks like this. And you're going to, if you wanted, you could use your scissors. Where are my scissors? Let me find my scissors. Just a minute. Here it is. Um, you're going, you could take your scissors and you can make a little hole in it. So you can hang it like that. That's what I'm going to do. Or you could just tie around it. I'm just going to hang it. So you, if you were going to hang it, you would drill a little hole in it with your scissors. And take the end of your twine and put it on and thread it all the way till it gets to the bottom. Or where the other ones are. So now it looks like this. Now you're going to take some of your string. I'm going to scoot that aside. You need to take some of your string. Sorry. You're actually, you're going to take the end of this string. And then you're going to take it and you're just going to start knotting it up. Knotting it up a bunch. And just kind of slide that down and knot it some more. I'm going to knot it all up so it's all knotted at the end. You're going to knot it really tight. As tight as you can get it. So. So now it's pretty knotted up like that. And you're just going to get it as knotted as you can at the bottom. You're not going to want to use all the rest of your string that you have left. But you are going to want to use quite a bit. To make it nice and tightly wound. I guess. Alright, now it looks something like this. Now you're going to take some of your toilet paper and take quite a bit, about 10 squares, and crumble it up into a ball, and then undo it and get a, some more Q-tips, about four, something like that, and I'll move this so the camera will focus on the right thing, and take it and put it inside and wind it up like so. So, then it'll look something like this. Now you're going to take your string to secure it. So you're going to take your string and you're going to get a little bit off to secure it. About half a foot again. And tie it around to secure it. To secure your toilet paper. Or paper towels or whatever you're using. So now it looks like this with the little um, Q-tip sticking out. Now you're going to take it, and there should be a little hole somewhere in there that you can thread it through. Or you can make a hole if you don't have one. Or you can put it through that string that you use to secure it, which is what I'm gonna do. So now it looks like this. Looks a little crazy, but it's fine. Now you're going to take some of your string that you have knotted up, see if you can see it inside. There's some um, knotted up string and then I covered it in paper, then I tied it and then I covered it in toilet paper. So you're going to want to make that. I'm not going to show you, so pause the video and make that. I'm not going to show you because it will take too long. And then you're going to tie it around. You're going to tie it on like so and then if you happen to have like any wood or something you could drill a hole through that and, and put it on here but whatever you want it'll look fine now for the part that'll have some treats in it you're going to take a little piece of a pe half a piece of paper rip it in half again so now you have a little piece that looks like this something like this now you're going to take a little more of your gerbils, treats, or food, and crumble it up in there, like that. Now you're going to take some string, secure it. That way you can secure it. Like so.
so. Then set it aside so that we can secure it later. So I'm going to want to tie it to secure it. You're probably going to want to tie it once or twice, maybe even like three times, to make it really tight. So now it looks like this. And you're going to set that aside. You're going to set that aside. And next, what you're going to use, next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue. And you're probably going to want to do this like on top of a piece of paper or something so you don't get it on the floor or anything. And you're going to take some of your Q-tips to take one of them for now. One, see if you can see it. One Q-tip, set it down. Take um, like two pieces of your food. I'm using three. I have two sunflower seeds in one of these little scoops. And you're going to glue them on to the end of this with non-toxic glue. Make sure it's non-toxic. Because if it isn't, then it will kill your um, pet, and then you won't have a little furry friend anymore. So that won't be, that would not be fun. So now you're going to fill it with a little bit of glue and try to get it stuck like that. Now you're just going to let that dry, and you're going to make a couple of these using your f gerbil's food. I'm just going to glue it on. Try not to use a bunch of glue that could still hurt it even if it's still hurt your animal even if it's non-toxic glue so you're gonna just lay it as put glue on it and and let it dry and to do that on like you're gonna want to make like three of those or something so yeah now that you have your three set them on your piece of paper and let them dry so, I have one that is already dry. I'm just going to use that one for right now. And you're going to take your, let's see, take your little thing. Let's see if I can find it here. I don't know where I put it. Just a minute. Here we go. Here it is. Here's your little thing. Now you're going to tie it on. You could take it and you could like wrap it and you could take like a square and you could um, wrap it around it and crumble it around the end so it looks like this and you're going to tie that on to your chain little chain thing like so all right so now it looks like this it's like a big piece of garland or something so now you're going to take it, find the thing on the very end, which should be your little bow tie looking thing, and tie it on to that. So now you're, oh, you are going to want to attach this, but I'll show you how to do that after you turn this into a big loop thing, loop kind of thing. It's kind of messy looking, but your dribbles don't, your animal's not going to care because it's an animal and they don't care. They just love to chew so now it looks like this you're going to take this part and you're just going to kind of find some strange loop or something and tie it on there and so once you have that tied you need to make sure it's tight so now it looks like this and the final step is to give it to your gerbil so i'm going to go get my gerbils So here is my gerbils. This is Lucky, and this is Ninja. Come here, Lucky. So these are my gerbils. Come here, Nick. Here you go. So you're just gonna give it to your gerbils or your 